All right, let's finish off this two-player game here with uh, two quick little mini lessons. The first one, sometimes it's nice when the player gets hit to send the player back to the starting position. That way, one player just can't keep hammering on the other player. Now, usually right now, we've been moving the players around by using the speed and direction variables. What we're going to do is we're actually, we don't want to make the player move there. I actually want them just to jump there. I want their location to go right away where I tell it to go. Now, as I move the mouse around the room, you can see down here and there, the variables change. So it gives you an idea of where we want to jump the player to. So here's player one. I want to jump them around here. So around 100, 100. Okay, it's close. And I want to jump player two to around there. Okay, let's just say 500, 350. Okay, ballpark it. Now you remember those numbers. Okay, how do we jump people around? Every object that you make in Game Maker has an X and a Y variable built in. Okay, we just have to change it, and that's where the player will go. So here's an example. Player 1. Let's take when they're hit by ball 2. Right now we already have some code. We're going to sneak a little more code in there. So player 1 hit by ball 2. We destroy the other, which is the ball. We make an explosion. And now what I want to do is I'd like to put both people back to their starting position. So it's sort of like the start of a new round. Here's how I get player 1 to move. I'm currently coding inside a player 1. So if I say, hey, player 1, change your X position to 100. And your Y position to 100 as well. Right away, player 1 is going to jump to 100, 100. That's its new position in the room. And remember, 100, 100 is based upon the origin of their sprite. So for those that forgot what that is, when you set the sprites for player 1, and we hit center, that's the spot that'll be on 100, 100. Now, I'm just going to go back and add a little bit more there. When player 1 gets hit by ball 2, I don't just want player 1 to jump. I'd also like player 2 to jump. Now, to make player 2 jump, you can do this with whoops, with object player 2. This is sort of like the with other command. The difference here is, is I want to control another object, but I'm coding inside a player 1. And so by using the with command, any code I put in here, it's going to be run by player 2. And so if I say x, I'm trying to remember, I'm getting old here, x equals 500, y equals 350. Curly brace. So whatever code you put between the curly brackets is going to be run by player 2. Nice, let's see if this actually works. Okay, so this is when player 1 was getting hit. There we go. And it jumps. So the idea is as you're moving around, you reset the people back to their original spot. If you know, happen to know what spawn camping is, it prevents a little spawn camping. Anyways, that's the jumping command. Okay, the next part of this lesson is going to do a little bit of the uh, image angle changing, but really quickly I'll just add player 2 before that video, just so this is all done for you. Player 2 is hit by ball 1. Same idea here. I'm in player 2 right now, so I'll say, hey, when player 2 gets hit, go to 350. No, it was 500. 350. And with object player 1. little spaz typing there. X is 100, Y is 100. Okay, so very similar, sort of opposite. 
Okay, and that takes care of player two. I'm so confident I won't even test that one out. Anyways, that's for this lesson. That was jumping. The next video is going to show you about the uh, image angle turning, which is really the last part of the player two game for now. Thanks for watching.